All right, Ultra Human reached out to me so I could show you guys 10 features you might not know about the Ultra Human Air. But let's go ahead and get right into it. First and foremost, let's get into the buying experience. If you would like to go on, it is $349. You can either select your size at the time or you can opt in to go for a sizing kit. At this point, you can go ahead and select a smart ring that you would like to trade in. But if you don't like to trade in, you can go into that. And also, you have coverage plans if you want to do that as well. But if you do go with the sizing kit, you will get a full range of how it will look on your finger. They want you to wear it for at least a day to figure out what would work best for you. I did index finger and even though I am married, I can move it to my ring finger every so often, especially if I'm going out, which makes it a lot more versatile. Next thing is the build quality. This outer shell is made with a fighter jet titanium reinforcement with tungsten carbide coating in the middle as well, making it very resilient to any sort of wear and tear. I do have a little bit of scratches here at the bottom due to dumbbells, but that is no big deal whatsoever. It is very comfortable to wear. It can be any anywhere from 2.4 to 3.6 grams due to how big the sizing is. So it is extremely light. They use the word air on purpose. And also it does have hypoallergenic materials in the middle. So it's relatively easy to slip on and slip off pretty simply. Next thing is it is water resistant up to 330 meters. So if you do like to go, you know, scuba diving and whatnot, you can utilize this little guy to keep it on your finger to check out your heart rate and it wouldn't be an issue. I went swimming with this, no problem. I would recommend going with a tighter fit if you are going to be going into the water so you don't have to worry about it coming off. Next is its app integration with the Ultra Human app. You get so much great information on this and all of it is going to be free. This is free and has no subscription. So if you want to go into some workouts, meditation, and sleep, it's all there. And of course, it has all your metrics, but we'll get into that in a second. With this app integration, you get to see the 24 seven heart rate tracking throughout your day. So you can go on in to your heart rate right here. I did have to take it off to do a little bit of charging today. We'll get into battery life in a second, but you can get 24 hours of your heart rate monitoring built right in. So you can see where your resting heart rate is. It's also going to track for your sleep as well, but it's going to help optimize your fitness levels. Talking about that, it does great activity tracking as well. It does a lot of step tracking that's actually pretty darn accurate. It says I have 8,700 steps and on my Galaxy Watch 5 right here, I have about 8,800. So pretty darn accurate, especially with how small the sensors are. But it gives you activity minutes as well and then total calories burned throughout the day and even gives you a couple of reminders to get your body moving and that's all built into the app. Sleep tracking. This is probably one of the best things about this. So it gives you so much good information on your sleep, your sleep efficiency, temperature, restfulness, and all of that. And it breaks down your sleep on how you did throughout your day, how much REM, light, and deep, and how often you're awake. My little daughter does like to wake up often, so I am waking up here and there. Then it even gives you your HRV, your lower heart rates, and everything built right in. You can go in days and see how each day is progressing. And it'll give you some information as well to work on it. So my sleep efficiency needed a little bit of help. It'll give you little things here and there to work on that sleep efficiency. Say my heart rate drop, that needed attention. You have meal timing and stuff to help out with that. So there's a lot of great actionable data on this as far as sleep is concerned. This is one of the best things about this ring. And overall stress. So your recovery score, how your body is recovering throughout, which your HRV and your sleep, letting you know how hard you should work out the next day. Maybe you need to take a little bit more of a rest day and do a little bit of yoga. So this will give you some actionable data, like the recovery score says your HRV balance was decent yesterday, and your recovery score indicates that you're primed for a moderate push, dedicate some time to rest and recovery, and you give it a little idea on how you are feeling as well throughout. But again, 
actionable data to help you better improve yourself on your fitness journey. And with its battery life, it does have a 24 milliamp hour battery. I don't know how they fit it in such a small ring, but it lasts up to six days and I can confirm it really does. It can charge from zero to 100% in about an hour and a half to two hours. So you really don't have to focus on really charging it that often. And it's little charging puck is very easy to be able to do a little bit of traveling with as well. All the sensors are built into this little small package. It has its PPG sensor. It is armed with a six axis motion sensor to detect motion and be pretty accurate with your steps. And it's also accompanied with a temperature sensor as well that you're able to check on the app to see how your temperature regulation is going. This is great for women with their menstrual cycles, but it can sometimes indicate sickness as well. It has red, green, and infrared LEDs to help with the accuracy of the heart rate monitoring so all that is built right into this very small pack and as far as what it's compatible with if you have an ios device if it's running 14 or higher it's good to go if you have an android device and it's running six or higher you are good to go so overall my time with the ultra human ring air has been very positive just to how comfortable it is and actually how surprising i thought it was going to get in the way of my barbell training and it really didn't as long as it was on the index finger i have used one on the ring finger definitely wasn't the best go-to but on the index finger i really didn't have any real trouble having it on and getting too uncomfortable just to let you guys know this video is sponsored by ultra human but all these thoughts are my own they didn't send out any scripts or anything like that i did this on my own accord if you like to purchase one of these i'll be setting a link down below and a little bit of that purchase is going to help me grow my channel well hopefully this video was helpful for you guys if it was please smash that like button if it was really helpful make sure you subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell so you'll be one of the first ones to know when my newest video comes out but as always guys stay happy stay healthy and above all stay positive i'll see you guys in the next one bye